So what's going on toxic gamers? Well another challenger approaches guys We got the sweet babying situation, right? We had the ghost of Yori, ghost of sushi, ghost of tampon situation The Galo situation, the halo situation, stellar blade situation with the playstation Concord apparently the game that made sony lose 400 million us dollars is trying to make a comeback oh, though shit. Like the video if you think there are two genders dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders guys I'm not a savage gotta give everybody equal chances Okay, we had the Assassin's Creed Shadows of the BBC situation too. Salute to Captain yeah. BBC. You yeah, know that well, situation well, went down. We had the Tomb Raider situation as well. Uh, with that, you know, same with the Lara Croft situation. Ended up getting that Brock Lesnar. Abby the Brock Lesnar from the Last of Us 2 treatment situation is wilding out, guys. I got a video that I want to share with you guys. Okay, I don't think you guys are ready for this one. There's currently also sit down, guys. Put your seat belts on. There's currently also a strike happening at Ubisoft. Dog, like I swear to God, man, Sweet Baby Inc. is ruining everything, everybody. They're ruining everybody right now, bro. Like this is crazy that these suckers are the reason why the game is not doing good. And then it's not performing well. People not pre-ordering, people not buying the game. And then, you know, we're hearing that Ubisoft is going to be sold out. You didn't know that well that's probably news to you right yeah apparently what we're hearing is that they're gonna get sold out and now apparently we're hearing that the the devs are on a strike you cannot make this up uh, shout out to the homie yellow flesh roll it remember how for a few weeks we saw developers still playing this game we could see on the steam charts that 25 people or so were still playing the game and <laughs> we were all making jokes about it and then eventually they stopped there wasn't 25 people online anymore it went down to zero and that was Maybe it. We kind of all speculated Zero. that Sony was just going to write this game off as a tax break. Well, yeah, it doesn't look yeah. like that's the case. Because now, people have noticed, as they do, because the internet is always going to the internet, they have kept a watchful eye on the game and found that they have been secretly updating the game. The game is still getting updates, at least on Steam, probably on PlayStation as well. We can't check yeah, that as yeah, easily, yeah. though. It does look like Concord is coming back, which is interesting. I didn't think that it would come back. There's so much free-to-play in the market what can this game bring to the table besides yeah, ugly characters? Uh, well, for context, what we're hearing is that Sony is trying to make a comeback with Concord, and this time they're going to make it free to play, guys. <laughs> free to play. Would you play it, though? I, I want to know your thoughts, man. Would you play the Concord situation? Yeah, man. Like, yeah, bro. Concord, right? Like, damn, man. Concord's going to compete with the Halo, with the Galo, with the Halo situation, right? Would you play it? <laughs> Would you play Concord? Man, this, this thing is like crazy, man. Like, I swear they're to God. They're still going to try. So let's take a look at the evidence first, and then we'll talk about <gasps> what they're going to do with this $400 what? million dollar disaster. In fact, it's oh, probably man. more than $400 million. I've broken this number down with people yeah. on Flashcast. Valiant Renegade was on, and he's somewhat of a financial whiz. And we were going over the numbers of this game, and it sounds like it might, at the end of the day, be like five or $600 million. But if you look at the evidence here, 24-hour peak, there was one person who hopped online, probably a dev, has to be a dev, over the past 24-hour period. Yeah, and this is still be, never not going to be funny. 697 be. players for this 600 million dollar disaster. Yeah, so make sure to. Here's what that guy was doing. Make Top. sure to guys not go over 697 likes on this video, bro. Like, yeah. I, I'm sorry, but let's keep it a little lower than that, okay? Concord files are still being updated via SteamDB, and here's the evidence. So somebody was on there doing something. I think this game is coming back, and it has to come back as a free-to-play game. There's no way they can launch this game for money again. It's just not going to happen. So they're going to have to do free-to-play. And I really do wonder how many people will jump into this game for free, because never forget there was an open free beta. Everybody that yep, wanted to yep, could yep, jump yep, in yep, and play yep. the game, and nobody did. Nobody jumped on and played this game when it was free. If I'm not mistaken, the original peak, when the beta was closed, it, it had like 2,400, closer to 2,400 players, and then they opened it for everybody. It was somewhere around like 1,100. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I, yeah, right? Like, we got the, you know, situation happening with the Tomb Raider situation here. I mean, we got situations after situation, okay? Let's focus! Uh, the numbers were very, very bad. It was, I, I don't remember the total, but it didn't even hit 1,000, if I remember right. Nobody wanted uh, to play the I, open. I believe it was 1,100 something, but if it's if it wasn't 1,000, then, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting confused uh, with some other game, though. Like Beta, which was free. I, thought so was... I just really don't see a lot of people jumping in to play this. And if you remember, we learned that uh, the people in charge at Sony believe in this game. They think this game is the next Star Wars. <laughs> that's not my words. That's that's their words. They think this is the next Star Wars. They got something big here. <laughs> so you how tone deaf these people are. They think that modern audience is real. 
even after this failure, and this is probably the biggest video game failure of all time. I, I'm convinced it is. This Concord is the biggest video game failure of all time. And what doesn't help is that we heard this, and this is absolutely shocking, dog. Like, listen, I mean, damn, bro. Like, even I was kind of baffled after the fact because what we heard was that um, that Sony boss, Herman Hulse, who's now the Sony boss, okay? Concord was his baby, and he was trying to push that game out. You feel what I'm saying? And according to him, uh, you know, Sega's gonna love it. Sega's were supposed to love it, apparently, right? But Sega's didn't like it, man. You know what I'm saying? So Concord, 400 million plus US dollars later, okay, gets shut down. And now what we're hearing is that it might make a comeback. Guys, wait for it. There's another situation that I want to show you, okay? Like, wait for it. There's just no... What game has failed that cost this much money? Crazy, man. So, I just... Even Spider-Man 2 and God of War didn't cost that much, bruh. I don't see people showing up for this. Bruh. And not just on PlayStation, but on Steam, a lot of people are really hesitant to link to a PSN account. Uh, we saw it recently with God of War Ragnarok. That game had very, very low numbers compared to the first one and other Sony games. And then we saw it again recently with Until Dawn, which also, from what I understand, required a Sony PlayStation. Yeah, Until Dawn is a masterpiece, but apparently, um, you know, people are mixed with the remaster. First of all, it's a remaster, like it didn't need a remaster. They, they improved a little bit of things, and uh, I, I, I heard that they added like an extra ending scene, right? Just so, it's basically a tease for the next game, so yes, and, 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 uh, Until Dawn 2 is gonna happen. And apparently it was not woke, so that was also very, very rare, very, very good to see they made sure that the the characters were the way they were in the original so they didn't they didn't change it unlike how unlike what we're seeing with tomb raider right like they gave uh, Lara croft that brock lesnar treatment that abby lesnar treatment from the last Wars 2 man these things is crazy bro these things are out of their goddamn mind i swear to god man these things is crazy bro yeah, right? Like, every time there's a female character, they always change it, okay? They always change it. And whenever there's, like, a male uh, character, they also try to change it, right? Like, look what happened with uh, Joel in The Last of Us 2, just because he was a man, gone. So, Master Chief, Master, right? Seems like that it's gonna be turned into Mrs. Chief, though. Yay! So, Halo situation kind of wilding right now. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a wild situation, guys. It's a wild situation, so. Account. Just to play on Steam, it seems that PC players are very hesitant they to always are. They sign always up are. for a PlayStation account. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't want to. And maybe that'll change over time, but right now, that does seem like a real thing. People do not want to link to PSN, which is crazy when you consider that they linked all the other, all of the other stuff. EA, I'm pretty sure you got to have an EA account to play their games, and Ubisoft, and so on and so on. But uh, you know, at least they're taking a stand on, on one of them. So PlayStation account is toxic. I think. What's really made the PlayStation count toxic was the way that Hell Raiders, Raiders was handled. I wonder yeah, if Hell yeah, Raiders yeah. 2 went down differently. Apparently, uh, uh, apparently, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Hell Divers 2 is still like banned uh, in a lot of countries. Not specifically like Hell Divers 2, but Hell Divers on the PC requires you to have like PlayStation Network account, or it it once did. I mean, that's what they wanted, but then because of the pushback, the backlash, uh, they kind of reworded the changes. But um, I heard this. This is a this is the last uh, thing. We he heard about right not sure if they changed it or not apparently in a lot of countries playstation network is not available so therefore you cannot play the game there yeah right so ultimately that means that a lot in a lot of countries helldivers 2 is not playable even if you're on the pc prior to all of that backlash and it, it's been like a couple of months right now right so prior to all of that backlash it was playable and people were like bro like what the hell like dog like why you guys gonna shoot yourself on your on your on your on your kneecaps right you guys blowing out your kneecaps right now you're shooting yourself on the foot dog yeah man that's like sony for you bro that is sony for you but i want to actually play you this uh, shout out to rev says they shoot roll it so today we're gonna be talking about unknown nine awakening this is a game that on paper might have some potential right it has a big budget yeah, 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 being produced yeah. by bandai namco and one of their studios that they own called reflector who has some very big aspirations for this project and more but given all that why does a post from the official Bandai Namco account with over a million followers struggling to get 100 likes on a tweet promoting the release date of this game, which is in less than 48 hours? In fact, they can't even produce what? 100 likes. They have... What? In less than 48 hours? No, bro! Okay, I'm pretending to be shocked. But no, seriously, I, I did not know it was coming out in the in less than two, uh, two days. Damn! Damn! And by the time this video comes out, 
It's gonna be less than one day. Yo! Now it is already 12:09 a.m. Eastern, October the 17th. East Coast, West Coast, baby. East Coast, West Coast, baby. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, that is that is crazy. I guess there will be unknown nine unknown people playing this game. Bruh. No pun intended or pun intended. 300 comments, most of them making fun of this post. And also, Bruh. you can see one of the hidden replies here big mistake uh, by any company the gamers. Videos, saying get effed with your woke drivel. Now, why is Talks that user and many others saying that? Well, back in March of this year, there were some discoveries people were making about the previews of this game where they were looking at the actress that the main character was based on and saying, whoa, what's going on here? Here's another example this year of. She ended up getting that Last of Us 2 Abby Lesnar, Brock Lesnar treatment. Damn, man, even Brock Lesnar don't have that jawline. Look at that, man. Even I don't think even I got that. Mm, yeah, I, yeah, I have to like stretch it, you know what I'm saying? Like even I don't have it. Damn, man, this suck is crazy, bro. They always, they always do that, do that to. Ah, they always do that to women, man. Like this suck is crazy, bro. Of a game intentionally uglifying the conventionally attractive woman that the character is based on. Well, the connection that, becomes very obvious and why this is happening Bruh. when you realize they are with Sweet Baby Inc. You can see here is a lot of information, but all you need to know from their own website is this section right here. We see David Bedard and Kim Belair. So David Bedard is the co-founder <laughs> of Sweet Baby and no. Kim Belair is, of course, the CEO. And, and then, you, you know, this is absolutely a wild situation because Sweet Baby Inc. has infiltrated and they have destroyed so many good projects, so many good franchises, and they openly say they don't like gamers. Gamers are toxic. Gamers don't deserve to live and all that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, they did not say gamers don't deserve to live if I'm... Yeah, I, I think they did not say that. Bruh. But ultimately, they think gamers are toxic, gamers are menace to society and all that. You know what I'm saying, right? These things are crazy. How many times the, the we heard stories of them destroying a product? And, and this is different kind of stupid. I don't get it. Like, why devs, publishers hire them? First of all, you're spending so much money on your projects, right? All of that is wasted. All of the hours, years you poured on that game, on your project. All of that wasted because as soon as you bring in Sweet Baby Inc, they're like guiding you. They're giving you guidance. They're just giving us guidance, guys. They like to give us guidance. So their Sweet Baby Inc is giving them guidance. They're providing them with guidance, with wisdom, with knowledge. That's what they claim, but it's not that. They ultimately come in, change their project, and they get paid for it too, bro. They get paid for it. You didn't know that they'd be charging crazy amount of money, right? They apparently asked for, mm, if I'm not mistaken, you know with the monkey game with that uh, Black Myth Wukong, right? Yeah, we heard figures like $7 million or something oh, that they were asking the devs and the devs ultimately said no and we saw the backlash and all that right and ultimately uh, Black Myth Wukong went on to sell like, uh, do like 2 million peak, right? 2 million plus peak became the number two best uh, all time peak player game on steam the the, the 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 highest one was PUBG, if i'm not mistaken right so crazy man and it did 10 million sales within like a week or some crazy uh, shit like that so that game blew the hell up and I, I don't think anybody expected people did expect that game to do good but two million player peak 10 plus million sales all across like the sony ponies the playstation the xbox the xbox uh, yeah the xbox uh, the pc Crazy brothers. Oh, I should say it was not on Xbox. My bad, guys. My Bruh. bad. It's not. So far, it's not. Maybe it's gonna be by the time you watch this video in the future, future, right? So, yeah, crazy. They basically denied that. So, Sweet Baby Inc., they required their fees for the guidance. And, you know, they provided so much guidance to Assassin's Creed, to Ubisoft, that we had the captain. Salute to Captain BBC! Listen, man, I'm one more. Sweet Baby Ink, Kiss of Sweet Baby Ink, of sweet, a Kiss of Death by Sweet Baby Ink away from having a nervous breakdown, man. This thing is crazy. And how many studios got shut down because of them? How many jobs were slashed because of them? How many devs lost their job because of SBI, Sweet Baby Ink? And then you see shies like that. There's currently a strike happening at Ubisoft for an indefinite for period of time. I don't get it. I don't get it, man. These things are crazy. They're causing riots. Or not riots. But a strike. Dennis, do a strike, guys. Come on, now. They're causing strikes at companies, man. Like, there's like, sickers are beefing right now. And Ubisoft sickers beefing, though. 
Because why they let Sweet Baby Ink come in and infiltrate and uh, guide them essentially. Bro, don't let these suckers guide you, bro. Just make good games for the gamers, bro. That's what it's all about. That's what, it's th what it is. That's what it's all about. Like the video if you agree. Uh, subscribe if you agree, guys. guys. Of Sweet Baby. And that's pretty much all you need to know, right? This is the Sweet Baby Kiss of Death. Whenever yeah. your game or your studio is attached to Sweet Baby, at best, you should hope to just have a disappointing launch. And you should fear a total, utter collapse like many games have once their connection to Sweet Baby has been discovered and this right here is no different this is truly the sweet baby kiss of death so back in march this was discovered and that was the peak time that was only weeks into the public discovery of sweet baby and people were looking around and trying to find games connected to this company and unknown nine was one of them and when people discovered this back in march Bumbleclad it's a brothers. compilation post from steam where people were saying this is woke and all that stuff and why does this look so bad and then in response to that they started just banning everyone. They went into damage control mode and started banning people for the most oh ridiculous reasons. God. Here's an example from this user where they said that they got banned and here's the provided reason. They said, do I... S you have been banned from Unknown 9 Awakening Community Hub by Unknown 9. I guess there will be Unknown 9 people playing the game though. Uh, shout out to the homie Viper. Viper, thank you for subscribing, brother. Gang, 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 gang. Guys, if you have Instagram, I would definitely love to have you there. Link is always in the pinned comment. No, shake. Uh, also, if you guys are into conspiracies, the UFO content, definitely check out the second channel guys like that's where you know shies goes down man that's where we talk conspiracies though that's like the big boy talks right there okay if you enjoy that content definitely subscribe if not hey no biggie okay i appreciate you thank you for being here okay uh, awakening devs for your post in unknown nine awakening general discussion do i smell some sweet <laughs> Yo, what the hell? He provided that reason? No, bro, that is crazy. Smell some sweet baby in here. And that was it. You were permanently banned. So, yeah, they were obviously no, quite afraid of people bro. making this discovery. And like I said, this was back in March. Okay, so that's why he got banned. Okay, I thought, like, he was appealing and this is what he said. Hey, man, like, did you guys, like, like ban me? Because of sweet baby? Uh, okay, uh, do I smell that? Okay, so he basically just commented and got banned. Okay, fair, Where was fair. the Makes beginning sense, of sense. the hysteria surrounding sweet baby? And also on top of that, let's focus on David Bedard here. Like I said, the co-founder uh -oh. of Sweet Baby. And you see uh -oh. on his resume, he has this right here. He was the brand David Bedard. Okay, so Francais. Ah, oui, yes, yeah, oui. Okay, so Montreal. Yeah, guys, uh, Ubisoft Montreal. Yeah, uh, I am in Montreal. I... Sorry, guys. I am... <laughs> I apologize on their behalf, guys. I apologize on their behalf. These things are never gonna apologize to you, bruh. I gotta apologize on their behalf, okay? I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Brand content manager for about a year with a company called Reflector Entertainment. Now, this is actually the company that helps produce this game. They are owned by Bandai Namco, and they are a very interesting company, to say the least. So, going to their website, you can find a lot of information. So, the first thing you find out, though, is how terribly designed this website is. Like, you're having a hard time seeing what's on the page right now. I'm having a hard time seeing it. I'm in full screen mode right now. Like, this is crazy. Who thought this sort of text would work, especially with, like, the, the different colors in the background but anyways they say this unknown nine awakening may be our first production and our last one but our collective creativity doesn't end there and on top of that they say a video game studio disrupting collective creativity <laughs> okay but honestly bro like website's kind of fine though kind of i though. the game matters though the game matters man is the game fun is the game good is the story good is the, uh, the the character i mean the characters aren't that good so but but like is the game good that's what matters right that's what matters website can get mama but okay let's continue the industry have you heard that one before yes that was sweet baby one of its employees a year ago said that sweet baby is burning the games industry to the ground and rebuilding it with some sort of agenda that they have so they're saying pretty much the same thing but they say that all this goes beyond the confines of their first video game and the vastness of the unknown nine universe Wastness. has an elaborate story-driven world whose rich lore seeps into many adventures unfold across its narrative Yay. landscape and they basically try to say that they had this whole universe planned for unknown nine which is uh good luck the universe might be closing very very quickly but if you go further on the website they talk about again how much they're, they're, they're so much more than just a video game company like they are really huffing their own farts here like they're, they're obsessed with themselves they think very highly yeah. of their company they say yeah that, they'd be smelling their own farts again that so much more than a video game company oh we know brothers we know it's not just a video game company it's so much more than that it is so much more than that. It is so much more than that. It has always been so much more than that. Okay. This, unlike other video game companies in Canada or the rest of the world, really. I, I, guys, I apologize on their behalf, okay? I apologize. Another one, bro, like, bruh. Bumbaka. Man, I am one more. Another Canadian company turning video games 
walk away from having a nervous breakdown, okay? Specialties run the <laughs> game like from story bro. architecture and musical score composition to podcast, film, and TV production. Our studio employs engineers, developers, artists, and creators from all corners of the industry. After all, there's a lot that goes into building universes. So what do we do with this mixed bag of talent? We lean into each reflectorian's... Ugh. Reflectorian's creative and technical prowess to create epic games and thrilling interconnected adventure stories shared with the world through video games, podcasts, comic books, novels, web series, and more. So, okay. in response to that, I can share a life lesson I learned very early on in life, and I think it's always relevant. Uh, a master of all is a master of none. It seems like they have a million different identities, and they say we can do A through Z, and it seems like their attention is scattered all over the place. Like, they're already talking about the next project, the next type of thing they want to make, when this whole universe they're building hasn't even hit the ground running yet. In fact, it's hitting the ground and just falling flat on its face because there's a lot of very concerning stuff about the release of this game, at least concerning for Reflector and Bandai Namco. But on top of that, as you might have guessed, if you look through the reasons you should work with this company, Reflector, number seven, diversity, inclusion, and respect. Collective success means everyone feels included and respected. Our employees hail not just from Montreal, Quebec, or Canada, Bro, bro, I apologize on their behalf. I apologize on their behalf. But now, respect is uh, important. Respect is uh, now. I'm all about the respect. Le respect, c'est important. C'est important. Le respect, respect, respect. Il faut respecter. Diversité, inclusion. Ouais, on les respect. Là. Now, respect. Of, of course, like jokes aside, sarcasm aside. Now, respect's good. Respect's good. Respect's good. But like, respect the gamers too, man. <laughs> These things never respect the gamers. Respect the gamers. Respect the gamers. Respect the gamers. Gamers life matters, man. Gamers lives matter. But all over the world, bringing a wealth of perspectives and cultures to the table. We value creating an inclusive workplace that adds to much needed diversity in video games. One where everyone has the space to put themselves forward authentically. Yes, they are definitely a company that is focusing heavily on DEI, and that should not be surprising whatsoever, but there is a lot of information about this. Guys, whatever you do, do not watch this video. Whatever you do, don't watch this. A lot of news came out, and I don't think you guys can handle it. I'm gonna put it that way. You can prove me wrong, but you're not gonna be able to prove me wrong. Don't watch this video. Check out the video on the left, man. I'll see you there. Crazy clips, guys.